Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a galaxy eyed photo effect in Photoshop. So what you want to have open is a close up photo of an eye and then also a satellite image of a starry galaxy or just a starry night in general. Take the image of the stars and you're going to drag this layer onto the photo of the eye. Now in my case, this photo is a lot bigger than the photo of the eye, so I'm going to zoom out here and I'll go to edit, free transform, and holding shift, I'll just drag the corner down until the size is a little bit smaller. Now you actually want to make this just a little bit bigger than the size of the iris. So just scale your photo down and move it around until it covers just about the colored part of the eye. Go ahead and press enter and now we want to get to blending it and putting it inside the iris. So first off, place the blending mode on screen and then go to layer, layer mask, hide all. Now whenever you're working with layer mask, keep in mind that painting black will hide everything and painting white will make things show. So as you can see, since we started with a hide all layer mask, everything is black. So we're just going to grab our brush tool and we're going to use a soft round brush and just use a size that's relatively easy to work with for the size of the iris in your photo. So you can see how big mine is compared to the iris. So I'm going to go ahead and set my foreground color to white and then I can just begin painting in the stars and they'll already be blended in. So once I have everything painted in, I want to actually switch my foreground color to black and then I'm going to lower my brush size a bit and I can quickly do that by just hitting the bracket key on my keyboard. By painting black on the layer mask, it's going to hide any parts of this layer. So I'm going to paint black right where the pupil is just to make it stand out a little bit and make it look a little bit more realistic. I can also go ahead and paint black around any of the edges that I went too overboard with and clean things up a little bit. So once you're happy with the blending on your layer mask, one final touch I like to do is add some color. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Photo Filter. I'm going to go ahead and use the Underwater Photo Filter and I'm going to turn the density up to about 75% and keep Preserve Luminosity checked. And then I'm just going to set the blending mode of this layer to Overlay. You could turn the opacity down if it's a bit strong, so I'll use something more like 50% and I think it really ties it in nicely and adds some dramatic contrast to the photo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you can give it a try on some photos of your own. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe for weekly Photoshop tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.